Good morning and welcome back to another vlog. I'm starting off a bit of a weekend vlog, but it's kind of just getting back into a routine even though it is the weekend. I'm gonna be vlogging today, which is Saturday through Monday. So just have a few days with you guys. And honestly, there's a lot of different things that I wanna do in this vlog, but today on Saturday, it is the most gloomy day outside, which is a little bit disappointing. I was kind of excited to have like a sunny Saturday to spend outside, but it's quite cold and it's also just really overcast. We got up this morning and then went to an F45 workout because we're trying to get back on the workout grind after traveling. And it was honestly quite a hard workout and I'm pretty tired right now. I feel like it really took it out of me. Sometimes those workouts, they really motivate me for the rest of the day, but sometimes they can also make me really tired. So I'm a bit low energy right now, but I still just went ahead and mapped out what I want to do today. And I wanted to show you guys, I got these templates from my friend Melena on YouTube. She just came out with these beautiful templates and she sent me the sweetest PR package and she has a bunch of different ones and she actually gave me a discount code if I wanted to share so I'll put it right here I think they're already only like six dollars without the discount but it's really nice because she actually laminated them so this is the one that I filled out today it's just a daily plan one but she has a ton of different ones so this one's like a weekly one, Monday through Friday. This one's a calendar one. This one is a meal plan one. There's a grocery list. So she has pretty much every template. So I'll have these linked down below if you want to check them out, but it's nice because they're laminated. So you can actually just use an Expo marker and go through. So I just went through and wrote out everything that I wanted to do today. So for the plan, so we just did the workout. I got a Newly order in. If you guys don't know, Newly is like a clothing rental website that you can use and I pay for it myself. It's not sponsored or anything, but I got a new shipment in of some really pretty just bright fun pieces so i want to show you guys a little try on haul just because i know a lot of you guys also do newly so it's nice to kind of share what i'm getting in case you guys want to get any other things in your shipments as well and then i want to head over to sprouts because if you guys have been watching my videos recently i've talked about dealing with some acne for christmas aiden got me a facial and the facialist she was so sweet she actually wrote out a bunch of products to try because i was asking her about my skin she said you know i don't think it's something that you're eating it doesn't look like hormonal acne Acne. it really just looks like clogged pores which it does it's just a bunch of these little clogged pores and so she recommended a few more natural oils to use and then she also brought out a certain exfoliator so i wanted to run some errands today and try to pick up those i need to record a podcast as well and then i'm also going to get some food to use my air fryer because aiden also got me an air fryer for christmas and i haven't used it yet but i really want to try to use it tonight so i think i'm going to go search for like a chick-fil-a copycat recipe of chick-fil-a nuggets because I've seen people do that in their air fryer and it looks really good. So we're gonna do that. I need to run some other errands and then walk cash and make dinner. So kind of like a chill Saturday. And then tomorrow I'm really excited. If you guys happen to notice in this video, my nails, this one popped off. I'm gonna get my nails redone because I've had these guys for quite some time. And then we have church and all that. So I think it's gonna be a fun few days to spend with you guys. But Aiden is currently cleaning in the bedroom. So you might hear him, but I'll show you guys the things that I got from Newly. This first thing is so cute. I don't know why I was really inspired to get a bunch of color and just like pretty feminine pieces. So I got this, I think it's from Free People. I usually just end up linking the item itself rather than the Newly link. But if you want to sign up for Newly, I also have a link too. It's a referral code that you can get. But I think this is so pretty. It has so many different patterns in it, just so flowy. I'm trying to be better at actually taking photos for Instagram. So it's fun to have just nice new pieces. And I like Newly because you don't have to keep the things. And a lot of these more statement dresses are things that I wouldn't wear over and over and over again. So it's just fun to get to try out things while also kind of keeping your closet more minimal. So that's why I personally love Newly. This one is also beautiful. It's from Free People. So pretty. I think this one might be my favorite one. I just love the pink in it. I think this would be so cute for Valentine's Day too. The weather in Texas is all over the place, but it does usually warm up or I can wear stuff like this. So that's why I ended up getting these. I actually wore this last night. We went on a date and I think it's so cute. This is from Aster the Label, but just such a pretty print, a lot of different colors in here. And then it has a really beautiful slit in it too. So I wore this with some knee high boots and thought it was super cute. And then this is the one thing that I got that is not colorful. It's just this black romper shorts. And I actually thought this would be so cute with my cowboy boots, something kind of Western. Ever since we went out to West Texas, I've been really inspired by just kind of like Southwestern, Southern styling with outfits. And so I thought that this would be really cute. So we'll see if I end up doing that or just with booties in general. This last thing I think may be a bit too short for me because I knew it could possibly be too short when I was looking at the reviews too, but it's this really sweet little baby doll romper. 
and I don't own a lot of blue stuff, so I thought that this would be cute, but the shorts are looking extremely short, and I just don't normally wear things that are like incredibly short. I just don't feel super comfortable like going out and stuff like that, but I think it's really sweet and cute. So every time that Christmas passes, I just get really inspired to have more color and just fresh new kind of like springy pieces. So I think that those will be really fun to wear. And then I somehow forgot to show this one, but this is actually my favorite thing I got. I think it is so cute. It's one of these kind of like bandana silk tops. There's the back. I think it's really cute. I do need to get a proper bra to wear with this, like a sticky bra situation, but I think it's really flattering up here in the decollete area, but obviously I need to get, <laughs> get something to fix this part, but I think it's really cute for when it gets a little bit warmer. I also forgot to mention that I got the sweater that I'm wearing, which I think is also just really comfortable and it is quite chilly today, so I just opted to wear this. It has a bit of a cutout. So I just got to Sprouts and what I'm getting, my facialist, she mentioned getting argan oil, which I've heard of using on your hair, but never on your face. So I'm gonna check for it here. And then also rose hip seed oil. And then also she said a non -como comedogenic, I'm saying that wrong, I'll put it on the screen, exfoliator. Those were the things she said to get. I feel as if I might not find, I've been trying to not say like as much, so I keep saying feel as if, and it's not even that much better, but. I don't think I'm gonna find the exfoliator here. Celine just tells me they're not gonna have it, but I think I can find the other thing. So we're gonna try to look for that. And then I just need to pick up a few grocery things. I'm not gonna go grocery shopping tomorrow since I did on Wednesday, but I wanna get some stuff to make my air fryer recipes tonight. So we're gonna do that. And it is just the ugliest day ever outside. This is the period of time in Texas where things just are not pretty at all. All the trees die. Do you ever just sit in the parking lot and wait because it seems really crowded and you're just not ready for it yet? I do this all the time. I just sit <laughs> because I don't want to, but we need to go, so let's go. I successfully got everything and I also got these that I wanted to show you guys because they are amazing. If you ever see these in the grocery store, if you like coconut, these are the Unreal Dark Chocolate Coconut Bars. My mom got these on our road trip and I had so many because they taste so good. I'll show you what they look like. Just this little bar and then in the middle they have coconut in it. A healthier Almond Joy. That little grocery run that I just did, granted I did get all my skincare stuff that I needed. It was more expensive than my entire big grocery run that I did when we got back from traveling. And I'd be curious to know the question for this video. Do you think it's worth it in terms of health to buy organic, grass-fed beef, like all the fancy kind of health food food products? Because I think with certain things, it definitely is worth it. But sometimes I wonder, is it really worth spending X amount of money on really expensive groceries that are sourced <coughs> better in the long run for your health? I'd be interested in it. Let me know. And if you say just certain food items, which food items do you think are worth spending more on from more like organic sources? <laughs> so my microphones have not been my best friend and I just am editing this clip and I realized that the audio is not there so I'm going to do a voiceover but essentially I was saying that I stopped over at World Market and I got just a few things to switch up our tablescape just because I took down all the Christmas decor I wanted to get a few things just to make things more colorful and spring-like in our apartment even though I know spring's not for a while. I got a lot of taper candles because I love lighting those at dinner. I think it just makes things really cozy so I got a green set and then also these really pretty kind of roped design ones that I thought were really beautiful. I also got a candle that I wanted to have by my desk because I love lighting candles while I work. And then I also got another one for our bathroom, some tea light candles, these really pretty gold cups that you put the tea light candles in. It just makes a really reflective effect and it looks really beautiful. So I got a few of those. I got a few of these jars just to put little kind of like wildflowers in near our kitchen and then also on the table. And then I also got these really beautiful taper candle holders. I love these ones. They look like something you would get from Etsy. They were just really pretty, minimal, and simple. And then the main thing I actually went in to get was a salt holder because I always use salt when I'm cooking and I have to get it out of our cabinet. So I wanted to have a pretty container just to have it on the counter so I can use it easily. I also got a new propagation station. This one was really pretty. I've never really liked the one I had and so I wanted to switch it out and get this one that was really just simple and pretty. And then I also got some dried flowers to put in the bottles that I got. I 
I just finished the table. I think it looks super cute, but I also wanted to show you guys the skincare stuff I got. So I ended up getting this rosehip seed oil, which this brand, all these brands said when I Googled them that they were the non-comedogenic or whatever, however you say it. I got an exfoliator, argon oil, and then a day cream. So I'll let you guys know if I like these. Let me know if you use any of these products. Not necessarily by these brands, but if you use rosehip seed oil, if it helps you all that, I'd love to know. And then for the rest of the home, I went ahead and just put the taper candles up here and the like new candlesticks. I think they look really cute. I just moved the flowers that were on the kitchen table over here and then one of the tea lights right there. And then over here, I just put the propagation station, which looks a little bit cluttered up there, so I might move it. That's just the perfect amount of light that it gets right there. And then right here, I just put the candle. The table looks so cute in the background while I'm cooking, but the recipes that I'm using, I'll have these all linked down below, as well as all the things I purchased. Those will be down below. This is the recipe I'm doing for the Chick-fil-A nuggets. And then I have one for sweet potato fries. And then I also have one for Chick-fil-A sauce that I'm gonna make. And then I'm also gonna make a little salad. So I'll probably be here for a little bit. And I've also never used the air fryer, so I'm probably gonna have some trial and error, but we're gonna go ahead and- Hey, let's go for a walkie. Yeah, I'm gonna go get us some cookies. Right now? <laughs> Why, you're gonna get them. Okay, sounds good. Is it easy to use? I mean, I haven't used it yet, but I'm down. I would like that. finished i'm still finishing my nuggets in the air fryer right now but we got some homemade chick-fil-a sauce sweet potato fries the nuggets which taste very similar they don't look all that similar but they do taste very similar and then just a little side salad so looks good it was definitely a success how I make my favorite little breakfast sandwiches right now. I like to start off with these ciabatta rolls. I got these from Tom Thumb, but they're just from Panera. So I have a couple of those. I'm gonna make eight of one too. I also have these chicken and maple sausages. You can take this off though, if you don't want meat on yours, but I'm making these in the air fryer. I usually just make them in a skillet, but I figure I might as well just make them in there. And then I'm just gonna fry up a couple of eggs. And then I also like to put some honey mustard on it. And I don't actually have honey mustard, so I'm just mixing my mustard and my honey, which sounds kind of weird on a breakfast sandwich, but it's actually good, so. I just got ready and I wanted to give you guys kind of like a rundown for today's plans. It is about 10.30, we're about to head off to church. So I'll show you guys my outfit. I'm wearing my newly dress that I got yesterday. Did some edits on my podcast already, but I need to finish editing that. I wanna start edits on another vlog that I filmed. I have some laundry to do. I wanna take cash to the dog park. And then I'm also getting my nails done today. I asked on my Instagram for some nail inspiration and someone sent me a really pretty one that was like a mix of French and solid with green. I really wanna do a color because I haven't done a color in a while. I just have French tip on right now. But I thought that would be nice. So just having kind of like a chill Sunday, getting things together, but also getting some work done. church we ended up taking cash over to a dog park because no one really uses our dog park anymore something ended up happening with one of the owners and now no one really goes which is really sad and so i've been trying to find new ones to take them to i've been taking him to the clyde warren one and then we found one called westminster dog park and so we went there and it was so nice everyone was so friendly 
and it's always fun getting to do that just to get some fresh air but it is three o'clock i'm so excited to go get my nails done i cannot wait i go to rose couture nail bar in dallas and i see steven if you're interested he does a really great job honestly they're all really great though it is a bit more pricey than i would say like the standard nail salon but i think it's totally worth it they always last a long time this one fell off because of me though so it was their fault and this is what i'm gonna end up doing so i usually just look on pinterest and i'll search but this time i asked for you guys to send in some nail inspiration and this was one that i really like so i'm gonna do that i think the green's gonna be fun so we'll see if he's able to do that and then if not i'll just do something different but let's go ahead and go in this is my before and here is the after turned out exactly like my photo except i chose a color that was a bit more blue than green i don't know if you can tell but it looks a bit more like turquoise as opposed to a sage green which is totally fine i'm just not a huge blue person like blue is not really my color but i love the design i just wish i would have picked more of a green but i think it looks so good steven always does such a good job he looks at my photo for probably two seconds and then recreates it exactly so i'd highly recommend if you guys are in dallas i think he does such a great job once in a while I find myself led astray. I'm just editing my podcast right now, and I would be curious to know. Sorry, there's laundry going, and it's very loud. I'd be curious to know if you like having the lights on or off while you're working, because when it's the evening time, I love just lighting a couple of candles keeping the lights off it just feels so cozy i'm like sitting in a dark room right now but let me know down below i just always feel like it creates the best ambiance i also just went through and checked off some things from the daily plan regardless of the price of the house that we get we want to put 20 percent down on house it's actually really exciting as i'm recording this today i just put the amount of money that completed the amount that we needed which is so awesome and such a fulfilling thing and i just feel very thankful for that because our marriage the first year we were married we were definitely figuring out how to do finances and how we did them together because you do have to learn a lot over the past year i think we really got into a rhythm of setting aside the tax money setting aside the rent He always sits by the bed until someone helps him off. Yeah. Good boy. And it is Monday. I have had myself my ideal morning routine this morning, which is great. Just got up, ran a few miles, by few, I mean three miles, and then I did an ab workout, walked cash, and now I'm just getting a lot of my computer stuff done. I actually made my list last night, which I like, and you just wake up and you have it ready, so went ahead and did that, just a lot of computer stuff to do today, but I'm also wearing the romper today since I'm not gonna wear this out. I figured I'd just wear it at home because I think it's cute. And I'm so happy because the sun finally came out. I got all my color and I'm just feeling very happy this Monday. Very productive, gonna have a good day getting just a lot of stuff done, which is my ideal day. I'm such a lover of just doing computer work, sitting at home, so kind of boring to vlog. But I'll show you guys what I make for lunch today. Aiden last night while he was sleeping was making the most crazy noises. Like he was snoring, but he was also awake and talking in his sleep. And I woke him up a couple of times to make sure he was okay. But finally I ended up coming on the couch because I couldn't go to sleep because he was being so loud in his sleep. So he texted me this morning because I didn't get to see him before he left. I was downstairs working. He's at the office. I forget that people, also there are a few new people here. And so if you don't know, my husband Aiden works like a traditional nine to five and he is in the office half the week and at home half the week. So he's in the office Monday, Wednesday, Friday this week. So it's just me but he texted me and said, I'm so sorry for talking last night. It's just so funny.
I'm gonna make myself some lunch and I figure I have the time today So I'm gonna make myself a salad version of the homemade chick-fil-a nuggets my air fryer y'all I love this air fryer like <laughs> My life has been changed. I'm probably just gonna use that and I might get crazy and throw some sweet potatoes in too Just put together a little salad. I really don't have that much spinach left and our actual lettuce is a bit slimy so i'm just gonna throw some stuff in together and i will let you guys know what i put in it when i'm finished the key to making this taste like chick-fil-a nuggets and this is in the recipe is actually soaking the chicken in dill pickle juice which at first when i was doing this i was a little bit confused and I can't even describe it, but for some reason, by just soaking this for 30 minutes in the fridge, they will taste like Chick-fil-A nuggets, no matter what you do. Well, I don't know if that's true, but it really does help. Some cherry tomatoes and lettuce. The sound in the background is the air fryer. And then I'm gonna add this dressing. I got this at Sprouts when I went. It's this avocado vinaigrette. It's really tasty, it's just very fresh. So I'm gonna add bit of that that was actually a lot we then have my air fried sweet potatoes so i'm just gonna add a bit of those in and then i just added the nuggets and there we have a very simple salad that is very tasty <laughs> of the evening we ended up just taking cash to the dog park and then made some dinner and kind of just had a chill night so i don't have anything else to vlog for today but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed getting back into a routine with me and just getting back into the swing of things if you have any other video requests that you want to see feel free to leave them down below i'd love to know what you guys are into what you'd like to see more of I'm always interested i'm also wearing my little skims cozy set which is so comfortable it's like my favorite pajamas right now i also love them because they're it's a tank top, which is nice because I always get a little bit warm at night. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night when you're watching, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.